So another great way to enhance a video game is to create a reward system whenever a player reaches a specific achievement in the game, usually that would mean reaching a specific score or doing something amazing, then you can give new player skins. Now, what do we mean by new player skins? Well, you may have seen that in many games. Um, it, you can actually switch the model of the character. So at the beginning, this could be, let's say, a chicken, and then it can become a whale or a, a shark or a dinosaur and so on. So you can change things around. Here, in this specific video game that we are doing hands-on, we have a ball. So the actual skin is just a ball. And what we want to do is enhance that ball. So whenever the, you, the specific player reaches a, a certain score and up, we can have different skins. And let's go ahead and work on that. Before we can even work on the skins, we need to work on the feedback of the high score on Game Over to show which reward we want to give. And in order to do that, inside of the Assets folder, there is a Menus folder, and you will see a scoreboard. Now, what we want to do is use that scoreboard inside of the Game Over screen. So let's select the Game Over panel inside of the canvas, and we're going to drag and drop that. Now, drag and dropping is okay, but it's not perfect. The best way is to um, right-click on the Game Over panel and add the UI image. Here we go. We have it here. Now, let's change the UI image size. And uh, before I do so, what I need to do is modify its position. I'm going to select the button Restart and move it up. So I'm going to place it instead of 0, 0. I'm going to place it all the way up. So I'm going to use the center and put it on the top. Okay, and the pivot to the top and just move it a little bit down with the position Y. All right, that will do. Now, the next thing I want to do is probably increase its size. Instead of 235, I'm going to put, let's say, 300 here and then the height 150. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's go with negative, negative 100 here. All right, now the next step is to work on the game over and I'm going to increase its size. So right now it's centered and that's good. And I'm going to increase the size to, um, so game over is right there. And as you can see, we don't see any size or anything like that. And that's okay for now. Um, let's change the image. So let's click on the sprite. And, uh, and actually the game over, I don't even see it there. I don't know about you guys. Uh, it seems to be at negative 200. That's why we don't see it. So let's put it at zero, zero and see if we can actually take a look at it. If I go to the scene and I click on the game over, yes, it's right there, but it's so small that we can't see it. So we're gonna have to make it bigger. Not a problem. Let's move it up so that we can see it. Okay, here we go. And let's make it bigger. So the scale is one, one, one. And uh, let me, let me, let's make it to 10, 10, 10. All right, it's already better. It's still too small. So let's make it at 20, 20, 20. Much better, we can see the game over. Cool. Now, the next thing we want to do is click on the image here and rename that. Now, the image needs to uh, be renamed to the reward board. So, reward board. Why? Because it's the board that will show the reward. Okay? And now, let's change the size and also put the source image. So, I'm going to click on the source image and locate the reward inside of the assets. And that's actually the board. So, I'm going to look for board, I guess. Yep. Um, scoreboard. I believe that's it. Yep. So click on the scoreboard and we see it right there. Now it's way too small. So let's make it bigger by changing the width and the height. Let's go 300 by 300. All right, that looks pretty good. So let's go with 350 by 350. Okay, good. Now, if I press play and lose the game, we should be able to see it. All right, so let's go ahead and play. Boom, and we see the reward board. Now it's a bit distorted, so I'm gonna have to make it a bit wider. Nope, not a problem, pretty straightforward. And to make it wider, I'm going to increase the width. All right, and this width will do. Now, something you can do usually is stretch it. And uh, so you can click here and click on the stretch on the, on the horizontal side. So it will take as much space as possible on the horizontal side. All right, and usually this will do. Cool, and this gives you the distance in between. All right. And um, now the next thing we want to do is add the rewards here. But before we do so, we also need to add the, the best score and the highest score. 
so we need some text here so let's add the text I'm going to right click on the reward board and add a UI item text here it is the new text and this one will be for the high score so I'm going to call this one high score actually I'll just put zero here because it's just for the, the text and let's put a font size of uh, 50 all right and let's uh, center this and let's move it where it needs to go so this needs to go the position needs to be right below the score all right so somewhere around here will do now feel free to increase the size not a problem see you guys can work on that and we see score zero so that's good but something we also want to do is change the color I'm going to change the color to white so that it's easier to see excellent and we see score zero and let's duplicate this one so this one I'm going to call it score text and then I'm going to duplicate right click duplicate and this one will be high score text high score text all right and I need to move it down not a problem change the Y position all right somewhere around here will do now let's just press play and see what we have just to make sure that it looks good I'm gonna just play and uh, and just die right away all right and we see the score and best okay that's good now it's a bit distorted so we're gonna have to work on uh, make it uh, look better but the score and best are appearing just the way we want now let's work on um, on feeding the score here the score and the best and we're going to this in the next lecture